The most famous player in the history of the Memphis Chicks was a fourth round draft choice of the Kansas City Royals, who debuted on June 30th, 1986. And oh yeah, he just happened to be the reigning Heisman Trophy winner. Just two months earlier, Bo Jackson had been the number one pick in the NFL draft by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But he stunned the sporting world by electing not to play for them and chose instead to play for the Royals. In 53 games for the AA Chicks, Jackson batted 277 with a 368 on base percentage and a 473 slugging percentage and seven home runs. He reached the majors that September, playing his first game on September 2nd and going one for three in a three to nothing loss to the White Sox in Kansas City. At spring training the next year, Jackson learned he had been drafted by the Los Angeles Raiders. He joined the Raiders in week seven after finishing a rookie season with the Royals in which he hit 22 home runs, thus becoming the most fascinating athlete in America at the time. Two years later, Jackson would play in his one and only All-Star game, winning MVP honors for hitting a home run in the first inning off the San Francisco Giants' Rick Ruschel, and he made the NFL Pro Bowl after the 1990 season. But a hip injury sustained during an NFL playoff game in January 1991 ended Jackson's NFL career and he played just 183 more major league games spread over three seasons before retiring in 1994 with a career 250 batting average, 141 home runs, 82 stolen bases, and eight seasons of what might have been. At the time he was drafted, Royals owner Ewan Kaufman said Jackson could be another Mickey Mantle or Willie Mays. Scouts compared him to Ted Williams and Roberto Clemente. He never reached those heights, but as anyone who ever saw Jackson hit a home run while calling timeout, throw out a runner from the left field warning track on the fly, or catch a fly ball on the run and scale the wall of an outfield. It turned out he was just Bo Jackson, and that was plenty good enough.